Tanetela muthi meko ba ba riki heba mungaro na oni asa tile karo. Kile mhaiso, hote mo ma meeting mo Africa FM mo lohana ting. Puja la to iarona se chaba saba suto. Tulare ya Africa, tulare ya ma Africa kaofena. Just feel off for them. Just 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 to see. Yeah, I see. Kerabi. That's all right. We, we can come again now, so that they know whom they are going to talk to. Bom me le bon tate leka leka relate ta yo le ka se sotho ka pa ka senye semane ra kota taba ina. Ya botsa mpotso a botsa potso e tobileng ya fana ka maikutlo a fana ka maikutlo a tobileng. Le tloele o go romanya mona le ho. Le o ke tholetsa le tloele o mana le o tholetsa mona bontate. Go tso morena. Emme. Di mela me mo tsidisi khiba. Can you hear? 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 Can you Thank you for the question, Sidi. Um, without going into all the small details, to make it very simpler, simple in general, it's going to be treated like tobacco. So basically, if a, a shop uh, or an officer shop wants to sell matekwane, it needs to get a special license for it, and it needs to be regulated. And uh, regarding the, the, so it's 18 plus. It's going to be for 18 plus, not less than that. The market that we are targeting is tourists. We want to bring money into the country. This is the main target here. The target is not to get everybody stoned and smoking all day long. We want to bring tourists. We want to create cannabis tourism to make this country more vivid and to bring foreign money inside. Of course, we're not going to, uh, uh, um, to prohibit it from uh, locals. So if a local want to use it for recreation or medical, of course they can. And I'm working also on a plan where they're going to get special prices. So they're going to be special prices for the locals and for the foreigners. And regarding the uh, the dangers, so again, as I said, I was I was living in the Netherlands when it's completely legal. Now Canada has legalized. Uh, there are many re academic researchers coming out and basically saying that there is no danger in, in it. The moment you ac actually allow people to grow and to to consume and to buy uh, cannabis, it doesn't create any corruption of the youth or nonsense like that. These things do not happen, and we know it from practice in other countries. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hari geru kwe eno ya churinga sanu nauri. Oh, hayo eno wa sanu, hari kutele ka mwona ka ho wapidi. Di kwa omu? Eh, lupana mami, kuru. Tenda ade kwa sanu? Santa, oh. Eh, mwubote ka buo ya tayi ukwanda tiki lini nolo fade tiki. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hello, hello, sir, how are you? I'm fine, thanks and you. No, I'm great, I'm great. Well, you know, the estimations are going between 20 billion and uh, up to 200 billion. You can't really know. Now, if you look at the black market, also the estimations are very rough. But we're talking here, let's just say that Amsterdam in the Netherlands has had got 9, mil 9 million tourists in a year, just for a city, not for a country. 
and over 80% of them are coming for the Matequane. So I cannot may give you a, a number in monetary terms, but I guess it's over 100 billion US dollars a year, that's for sure. And the, it's going to be if we take just a fraction out of it and bring the market here into Lesotho. We don't need to work hard. We, not, we don't need to get uh, off takes or to, to close all kinds of deals with other companies. We bring the market here. And then it's not only the cannabis that they're going to buy. They're going to stay in hotels. They're going to go to the restaurants. They're going to use the transport. They're going to go to tourist attractions. They put a lot of money here, way more than just on cannabis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Besides Israel and Netherlands, how many other uh, international destinations whereby uh, you find open market for cannabis in the world? So the Netherlands uh, is a special story because they never actually legalized it in the law. So they just don't prohibit it and they don't enforce it. So it's very, very strange. Now I can tell you I was living in England. And in England, if you smoke in front of a police officer, he's not going to do anything to you, even that it's illegal, he's not going to enforce it because they don't think it's a real crime. Now, Canada is completely legalized, Uruguay is completely legalized, and more of half of the United States is legalized. So that's a very big uh, fraction of the, of the Western world. Uruguay as well? Uruguay as well. They were the first country to legalize Uruguay. They did it uh, over five years ago already. And Canada came after them, and now Luxembourg is looking into it. Uh, I know that Spain is looking into it. Um, there are many countries who are... Israel is looking into it. There was even a bill a draft uh, to legalize in Israel uh, not so long ago. So uh, th there are many, many countries who are talking about it. The problem is there are closed markets, so they cannot export or import. I also have an idea if this parastatal is going to be successful in Lesotho, I, I'm sure that other African countries are going to copy this. And then we could have inter-African trade of recreational non-medical cannabis in order to increase tourism, basically. And this will become medical as well, I'm telling you. People will understand that it's better than it the medical okay. one. Hey, Moya Nawak. And again, <laughs> last one then. Tell me, according to your How much quantity one has to take a day? Uh, I am taking between 5 to 10 grams a day because I'm a medical patient. I have spasms, I have problems from a head injury. Uh, if a normal person just wants to relax, like having a beer, we're talking about one gram a day. If I'm in vacation, maybe three. But this could be daily, and if somebody comes and goes out to South Africa, he can take basically 500 grams with him together home, so he will have some, and he could bring his friends as well. Okay, thank you very much for clarity. You're welcome, Daddy, you're welcome. Have a good day. Renza, let's all up here. Bye, Isu. Bonne day, my husband, you're welcome. We're going to go to the house. Eh, naja fell like you are like channel out to look at me. But not one with the last four. Fell a tavala de Hutan in a man at Horena Motua got to your Matuquania, Macaica, let's see, as I move by Gilicozi. Na Matuquani, you hoi boy, I move to our thing, e chelete, e guy, memonen of the Zurich Chelting at one of high sally. Make and clear who Israel lay Nayen, Egypt, Netherlands. Now, when I did not have said in say the city millet and matequani, me with the two cowl and go in Netherlands, and I hear you made it a fellas namula or a tibella a capa who are dumel. But what ways we fell about tibella fell a metaveno is a hurry by it. That is a queer no raskin or about to give a hash out of the river by it. It is out about it by the vangata and I knew but the same what last you ever saw a cattle lava can eligible to insidy. Hane mwiki. Haa boku wana Israele le haa li tenga nza tuwe. Fela haa du meluwa ka mlao. Fela mwuse wichewisa kwa. Polesa wichewisa kwa. Le landa ni mbalo ka haa utuwe ka tuwe pila le polesa mwana le natawalwe. Koto. My name is George Tamai. Tamai. I'm living at Mission Post. Not a Muslim 
Let me answer you the first for your first question. Um, for the first question, George, um, it is known that uh, the matequane can trigger schizophrenia in people who have it in their genetics, in their DNA, from a, a family uh, thing. So I wouldn't recommend people with family background of schizophrenia to try it because it might trigger it. Now another problem that there is if the matequane is not organic. If somebody used or, uh, chemical fertilizers or used pesticides on it, it's full of chemicals, that's why it should be regulated. And then when people buy it on the street in the black market, they don't know how it was grown and they can, this can cause very severe effect to your health, also to your mental and physical health. So this is, you might have a very bad quality product that made you went completely crazy. Now for your second question, uh, what was it? Regarding the uh, in other countries, it's called opium. Oh, ah, about the opium. Okay, so no, o opium is a completely different medicine. Opium is what you make morphine from. This is being produced from the poppy flower. It's a completely different plant that does not grow here in Lesotho, and it has nothing to do with cannabis. Cannabis, it's a different plant, and opium is a different plant. <laughs> e matekwane a ka hlantsha motho ha e ba a hla ha ka ra le noko la mahlanya eh ine le taba yanda te thamaeng hore motho mo ile ka mo tsubisa matekwane a ba tla hlanya e sa le a tlwela mo hlangong a a a a ka 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 ha ba motho mo e o matekwane a sa mo dumeleng e le ngore a se ntwa motho mo le mo ha pe gore na mo futa matekwana na wa tswiwa nke mafuta mo wa matekwana a fe ba thona ba le maka fertilize eh ba ba sebedisa di chefu ho di maona mono be le di di ka ba ka go sithutseng athi matekwane a gothaletswa nke yena ke hore a lengwe ho sena di chefu a lengwe a le jwalo good morning good morning good morning you are too i am too Halfway is speaking from Hotel uh, Rive. Good morning, Mr. Tom. Good morning, sir. What I would like to ask you is that if ever the things come right, how are you going to work with the Besutu that are already in the business of uh, company bus, but they have not yet been given their licenses, but they are smuggling it. Uh, and then the second question is, we have noticed that uh, these uh, investors coming from other countries to come and make that uh, uh, business of cannabis in the so they are using their own seed. Now, is uh, this uh, cannabis of Lesotho one of the greatest or uh, quality cannabis in the in the, the world are they going to accept it in your international community to but to tell it there is ever they've been given uh, the licenses thank you for your question thank you sir let me first answer for your first question um my plan is basically the, the uh, intention of the marketing board will be to find those uh, families and villages who are growing massive amounts of matequane and basically to formalize them as a business. 
So basically to write them down as some kind of a cooperation or something like that as a community. Uh, so basically the villagers are uh, the villagers the locals are basuto are going to have their own business it's not like the government owns their land or owns their field or something like that they're going to have their own independent business we as the marketing board are uh, uh, obligated to help them so if it's giving them a loan of a startup if it's giving them free seeds if it's helping them with free training we are basically helping them to establish their own independent business so basically the gonna have their own company and it's going to be run as a normal company for profit making and we are going to, as the marketing board, the marketing board in the government is going to see that everything goes right because the government has the intensive to get good crop from them because the government is going to take this after they pay them a fixed price that they're going to know how much they're going to get, how much they're going to do. And then the government is going to sell that for much more to foreigners. So the government is going to earn and the locals are going to earn. And that's an important one. That's an important one. You are saying the government is going to give them a good price. So, 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 so the people will be producing matekwan. Those who are licensed, we are talking about the licensed people. Yes, will be producing matekwan. Yes, and their product will then be sold uh, to, to the board. To the it, government only. There's no mess going on. I don't want any black market going on. And also, the government, the marketing board, will offer a higher price than the black market. So there is no reason for yeah, anybody to be in the yeah, black yeah, market. Yeah, the understanding is you have the marketing board. Yes. And of course you will probably have the matekwane, what do you call it now? Uh, a market, a real market, where people would bring their produce and sell it to the board, which yes, is the so government. So the board is going to collect the matekwane from the from the producers, from the local producers, and is going to sell it in in designated places. So uh, basically, places who would want to sell matekwane in a in a in a coffee place or in a or in a pub or in an off sale shop, they could apply for a license, and then the government will take the product from the locals and will bring it to the point of sale. Let let me understand. Yeah, let me understand this. Uh, we have a Lesotho Brewing Company in Lesotho. Yes. It is a government-owned company. Mm -hmm. It brews beer and soft drinks. Yes. So, um, it, it does not sell to each and every person. It sells only to, 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 to the licensed people, as you say. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very similar. It's, no, no. I don't want to make that example. I want to go for for, for the wool and mohair. Yes, that's Say a the good. the wool and mohair. Yeah, that's a good. Idea. But so to have their own uh, crawls. Yes. They produce the wool, they share, and they package and they sell. Yes. To the marketing board. Yes. In our case, it is in South Africa and elsewhere. So, the marketing board sells on their behalf. Exactly. To the international market. Mm-hmm. They get their money after they say it. So, so, this is, this so, is very, so it's going no, no, to be to, something similar. Is, is it? It's similar but different. What is the difference here? The difference mm -hmm. here is that they're not going to pay it after their product is being sold. Basically, the marketing board is going to buy the product from them for some fixed price depending on the grade. And then it's going to be stored in a highly secret government facility that nobody knows. And from there, basically, the government can have its own shops to sell straight to the end consumer, to the tourists. So we can have a, a tourist center that can sell the, 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 the matekwane of Lesotho. By the way, in Nepal, in the 60s, the government used to sell 
Matequane, they used to sell cannabis on behalf of the government with the marketing board. It was being done before. Also in Pakistan, they used to do it. In, in India, in the 50s. How do you say that? So, how do you say that? When I say that Matequane, Musa Kaboto, Ereka Matequane, Ah, no way. Ilo Aboloka Setoro, and Sete Juan Kiwo. Gwale, Musa Kaboto, Ena, I, Urekisa, Matekwana na owa reki seta batu lidi baka tse eche te hileng tse eche pise di tseng ho reki sa matekwana ano hasen tuwa yu mute mule munga tla shikla fela ka peipa veke muna sa shikla kitwa ta jika ka matekwana Tate, there was a double question to the last time Tate you had a question regarding the seeds it was asking regarding the the genetic of the local land race of the so that's an important question i want to 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 tell something about it now uh, uh, the the local strains are are very much amazing and interesting but you need to understand that nobody ever bred with them so they are very natural they are land races and land races are usually not commercial they're not meant to be commercial they're not bigging they're not giving big yields also there is a problem here in many places that it was mixed with Swaziland cannabis together and then you have some kind of a mix of Swaziland with de Lesotho and it needs some kind of a breeding program you need here some kind of a g- genetic experts in order to make something out of it so the my seed company that I'm working in we have a business partner he's a breeder and he was working with the Lesotho land race genetics in order to get it commercial and to make nice things with it. So usually we mix it with something else or we develop it and choose the best ones. And then you can reproduce a lot of seeds or seedlings to give it back to the locals to actually make a profit from it. So it will be something you can sell. <laughs> Repeated it, says the Gamis. Hotel, 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 what I'm So basically the restrictions are going to be like alcohol and more than that. So there's going to be places where you can smoke. It's not like you can smoke everywhere unless you're going into the wild. Basically, we are going to sell mostly to tourists. We're going to have some programs if people get into problems or something like that. But I doubt anything will go wrong because really I, I've seen in many other places. Because it will be regulated by government. Exactly. So the government is regulating it. It's not going to leak. There's not going to be any black market. So the product is going to be good and meant for adults only. You are not encouraging sale to the Teens. young, to the young people. You are not encouraging sale to each and every person that just wants to yeah. buy. And if somebody and will do that, he will lose his license for selling, and he will have no access for the supply. Everything has to be regulated exactly. by the government. You are saying so by the government, by the government. Hoto. 
Eh, Oh. Ah, Oh, ha. Congratulations. That is all they're saying. Uh, you want to have your last word? Uh, really? So, hope? Yeah, yeah. In, in conclusion. I really hope that the, the Lesotho nation will... Talk to the minister. Talk to the minister. I really hope that the government of Lesotho will support this project and will help me get it done. I have everything needed ready and we can start it up and start bringing tourists in here and change the face of the country. Is that all you, are telling you want to tell the minister? Um... I'm ready to talk also and to tell everything in detail, but uh, I would really like to progress and to pass it uh, into the cabinet and to start growing Matekwan and to start the cell. Yeah. Cabinet is important, but the parliamentary select committee is the most important because they are the ones. If the parliamentary select committee says no, you'll never see the, 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 the light of the day. So I invite all of them for dinner and I can discuss with them about all matters. And if there's any worries or any... The parliamentary committee. Yes, uh, if they, they have any comments or any worries they have, I would love to hear from them what it is. I would just like to have an official way to present it to them. Because mm -hmm. until now I'm just going and doing public relationship to, to, to my program with everybody that I meet on the street. But I want to do it formally, officially, to come and present it with what I did until now. But so do people are happy that you came to the program. Thank you What do you say much. to them? I want to tell them that I love them and I have relocated especially for that from my home country into here. That's my new Talk home. Talk to them in Sesotho. Uh, my girlfriend doesn't want to teach me Sesotho. Thank you. 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 Thank